Hey guys, the Hacker Nerd here. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more awesome content. Let's get started with the video. Hey guys, how's it going? The Hacker Nerd here. Welcome back to Factorio. We're doing the Hacker Voodoo game for this month. I almost messed up that, but it's fine. But I'm joined in multiplayer by my buddy Vibor. Hey buddy, how's it going? Hey. Hey. In the end of last episode, I may have said... Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Uh, let me finish my intro and then I'll get you, buddy. Okay, so... um. So, 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 uh, last episode, uh, said I was going to get all this situated before we started the next episode. I lied unintentionally because, um, we actually just don't have the throughput to be able to make like 60 something drills. I didn't realize that's how many we needed. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to just utilize this throughput and feed it up to our existing base and, um, help move that along a bit. And then, uh, from there we will fill in this as we can. So, um, so let me take one second here uh, to discuss uh, the thing that was just that just happened in chat. So I'll be right back for the uploaded version of this. All right, so uh, we're back in here now. I've I've gotten through uh, explaining that thing. So um, now we have uh, the task of combining this all together, which shouldn't be troublesome. I can just do that. And now we have two lines coming up, and that should be fine. So the next thing would be to run power. So I'm just going to kind of do something like this. Super easy. Gotta love spaghetti it's tasty and we should have enough power to deal with that yeah i'm still not real real good with the whole putting things down in a straight line <laughs> <laughs> it's all right man let's see we just grab that out of the way and then uh we'll just kind of just kind of run with it and then that's going to go up into here and we'll just merge that in like such. Mama always told me to eat my spaghetti, so I grew up to be a big and strong boy. <laughs> my mama said life is like box chocolates. <laughs> There's that if one too. The, if you look under the lid, you know exactly what you're going to get. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can I can see that working. All right, so you're running in the second line up, so we'll just go ahead and uh, merge that in like that, very slowly, and just make sure you rotate that top top belt over. If you hover over it and click R, it should do it automatically. Yeah, you'd think. Is it not? Yeah, it does. So, so look, I'm, I'm hovering. So there's the square box, the yellow box. I'm just clicking mm -hmm. R. It'll do that. And that works for anything, really. So now we have a whole lot more iron ore coming through, which means our production should be a lot better. Uh, and if we wanted to speed this along, what we could do is just kind of mirror this. You want to help try to mirror this? Like I put down some uh, power poles and some inserters. Let's see here. And then oh. the belt would go here. Wink. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Very hard to put down things when you're moving. <laughs> True story. Oh no, I am out of inserters. Whatever shall I do? There's that. I'm going to recommend that you get more. <laughs> I, I, you know, that's a, that's a reasonable suggestion, sir. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, you, you have a, have a, have a degree in suggestionology, I think. <laughs> What? <laughs> All right, so we've uh, increased our throughput here. The thing is, though, um, I think our belt's kind of starving here. Yeah, a little bit. So that's not gonna work. Backed up over here. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something kind of funky here. I'm gonna take what we just built, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna blueprint it, and then I'm gonna destroy it. One times. 
And then I'm going to take one of these uh, these outputs of the ore and, and do a dedicated secondary line. So basically we'll have just like another something like this going through. And basically double the throughput of what we're working with. Oh no. Oh no. How am I out of those things? Oh well. So let's do that and then do that. And that'll come through. There we go. And then connect that up. And I know that's kind of being wasted there, but I'm not too worried about it. Now for that blueprint, should be right here. Should be able to just kind of line that. It's going to be offset by one, which is going to drive two by two. It's going to drive some people nuts, but it'll be okay. It'll be all right. I think it'll be just fine. This is fine. <laughs> Everything's on fire. <laughs> okay. So far, so good. Oh, you know, I should be working on research. I have not been paying attention to that at all. Research. Okay. Are we, am I out of burners? So one thing um, that will be super helpful if uh, if we're working on stuff like this and you see something that's missing, um, mm -hmm. you can work on crafting that, and it'll help uh, move that along. I'm not I'm not telling you what to do, but if that's something you want to do, you're more than welcome to help out in that capacity. So we need more gears. I want to grab a bunch of gears. Yeah, I'm just we're just hurting for iron plates right now. So I'm going to do another funky thing. Oh, uh, I guess I need to make a splitter for that. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we have a pretty decent amount of iron plate production going now. And we're working through a lot of our science and stuff, which is good. I'm going to take that, mm -hmm. those rails, because I will need them momentarily. Uh, and I think while this is working on doing its thing, I'm going to go back up and start working on rails again. Okay. I uh, put the, the rails that I had in one of those wood boxes. I picked them up. <laughs> yes, you did. Look at you. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this. And then there we go. And I guess we're going to go clockwise on this just to kind of keep everything organized. Okay. Do one there, and one there, and that'll give us plenty of space to work with. Um, I'm not going to worry about putting down train stops just yet. I'm just going to do a bunch of copying and pasting. shots are not super important right now, but it'll be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and just grab this. Actually, nope. Just to be one here and one there. So the way train signals work in this game mm -hmm. is if there's a train standing here where I am, or not, yeah, mm -hmm. train standing there, yep. Once it moves, it'll be, gr this, uh, this one right here will be green. And once it moves into this block here, uh, between mm -hmm. these three signals, that's considered a block. Uh, that'll turn red and say, hey, if there's another train coming, don't come into this block. Okay. And then once it either passes this light or this light, it says, okay, well, this block is clear now. So the next train can progress through. So it's it's a uh, train control in this game is actually pretty, pretty in depth, but like simple once you kind of get your, your head wrapped around what it's doing. Um, okay. There's still certain combinations that I, I have no idea how to how to accomplish. So. <laughs> Let's do, let's do, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. Blink. And then I am Logistic just going to... trash slots. Okay. 
Uh, nope, that's not going to work either. It's going to need to be one more up, so it'll be tileable. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's trash that. And blueprint to this. Okay, that should be good. Let's grab our next thing. So nanobot stuff's not really working, so we're not going to worry about that. Basic crafting speed, inventory size, mining speed, movement speed. Let's do that. All right, there we go. Now, the way I'm trying to build this is I want to try to be as infinitely um, expandable as possible. Mm -hmm. So the main entrance and out exit are going to be at the bottom here. And then the, the trains can pile on as needed going up north. That way, if we need to add more trains to the mix, we can just continue this pattern on up. And it makes life infinitely easier doing that. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. All right, what am I, what am I waiting on? Uh, just, I'm waiting on my boss to do all the work is what I'm waiting on. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, <clears throat> that's what those things are. What's up? Uh, things on the tracks. They're, they're, I didn't realize they were bumpers because the tracks weren't complete. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they did pretty good with um, making the graphic. Even though the graphics are kind of simplistic in this game, they've they've put a lot of thought into how to display certain things. Um, mm -hmm. Like when the biters destroy them, they, they get all crumbled looking, and it's 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 pretty awesome actually. Let's just do this, just just for now, just to say that they're there. Come on, there we go. <clears throat> I'll play this game just for the trains. Yep, that's, that's one of the, my favorite things about this game, or the, the, the ability to have your own like train set or whatever. <laughs> but I love the factory building in this game too, so it's 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 a nice, awesome package for me. Okay, so, um, you know, might as well. I think I need special train stops for the TSM thing, but I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. Okay, um, is my inventory full? Is your inventory full? Uh, nope. No, okay. It was doing some weird stuff with some wood. Uh, Kevin, what's up, buddy? Just waiting on it. Waiting on it. We'll get there. Eventually. Slowly but surely. Faster, minions! Faster! <laughs> Indeed. Ooh, you're adding more more trains to the mix. Mm -hmm. And what we I can do is uh, turn all uh, the signals off and just watch them crash into each other. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, yeah, we'd have to remove every single signal. But what we could do is just turn them all on and let them go to town. We'd have to just uh, <laughs> refuel them every now and then. Thunderdome. <laughs> Give him some tracks. That's it. I'm out. So can... Oh, okay. So how many was that? Was that 10 trains? Should be 10, yeah. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. Interesting. Without doing any sort of math, uh, the top one lined up, and we could do a total of 16. Almost got that side. All right. So uh, I have... 104 coal. I could split that between four trains. Uh, do, do you have any coal on you currently? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I have two, 226. Okay. So if you will take uh, one of your coal in your hand mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. hold control uh, and then click outside of one of the trains and then just drag from the top all the way down through all the trains, it should evenly split all that up. 
Okay, one second. Okay, hold control, click out. Yeah, like, okay, it put 150 in this one. <laughs> so, so click and drag all the way through. So you want to grab the 150 out of this train? Yes. It's a handy mod, but it takes a second to kind of get used to how it works. But once you get used to how it works, it's it's very very handy. Okay. So you so want to like click here so like can... up here or down to the bottom or however you want to do it. Hold in the hand. And then I'm going to run up here and hold control. Control. Click hold above control. the train like uh, uh, like don't have uh, the train selected with the yellow box. Move mm -hmm. your mouse like up to the just away from that train. And then just click mm -hmm. and drag while you're oh, running. Look at that blue arrows. Yeah. And I only have 104, so it's going to put like a little bit in. All right. So uh, let's let the danger commence. <laughs> uh, can we just. Um, oh, we'd have to add stations and everything. Hmm. I mean, we can do that. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. You know, I can just run and not have to count these up. And then we'll put we'll put a little stop station down here for some reason. There we go. We'll call this one one. If you want to start at the top station, rename it 10 countdown. Uh, okay. So when you click the station, it'll have the name in the top left hand side and there'll be a little pencil. If you click it and then click the apply change arrow after you've named it. So start it at 11. Okay. No, start it. Start at so 10. We'll do base just base 10? zero. Yeah. Apply change. Gotcha. And then we'll name this one zero. We'll do base 10. Do you know how to do temp stops? No, I do not actually. How do you do temp stops, Torvok? If you can explain it in a manner in which is conducive to chatting on <laughs> on the live stream there. So five. Cool, you get it. All right. Alright, so this is gonna go zero and one. This is gonna go zero and two. And hey, we had to, damn those things are moving. <laughs> zero and three. And we have our first death. Oh, did you die? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, they don't stop for the the stations anymore. Okay. Okay, well, I guess you have to add a weight thing. Okay, um, we'll add weight conditions. Sorry, Jeez, I didn't realize Christmas, that was a man, thing. Those things are boogieing. Oh, this is what, four? Four, we'll go four, and we'll add a weight condition of time pass of like 30 seconds, the five seconds. Five, there we go. And I wonder, actually, if I just did it one across the board and named everything the same. Yeah, that's working. Okay, we'll do that. And that way we can just copy and paste the one. I'll mark that as manual. Mark that as manual. Mark that as manual. There we go. Okay. And we'll call this. It should just be zero and one and then wait. Oh, that one's out of fuel already. <laughs> nice. Add weight condition of time passed of five seconds. Five. And then we'll copy this one to all the rest of the trains. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, do you have any more fuel on you by chance? I uh, put some I uh, put some wood in it. That's all I had. Oh, did you already click automatic? Okay. I got it. I got you. So now it'll stop at that one station for five seconds and not be quite as ridiculous. Not quite as fatal. <laughs> <laughs> Ideally. Oh, 
<laughs> I almost walked right in front of one. There we go. And the fun thing about this game is you can make fun little toys like this and just have at because mm -hmm. it's fun. So now they'll just keep going around in circles. And since I, I went back and renamed all the, the top stations to one, as long as there's a mm -hmm. station uh, called one that's open and available, the train will go to the next available closest one. Now, I assume there's at some point there's going to be a way for these to be like auto fueled. Yes, yeah. There's uh there's ways to do that. <laughs> but uh we're not going to worry about Well, you know what what we'll do? What we'll do is um since they're stopping here, I'll mm -hmm. just put uh, a thing right here and then we'll put some stuff there. And then we'll actually put a chest here so that way it can have a little bit to work with. And then we'll run some fuel. Oh no. We are completely out of power. <laughs> In our base. Uh, we've been dicking around with uh, trains and not, not paying attention to what's going on. And we ran out of coal. How do we manage that? Very carefully. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um... <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rework this. That needs to be a box here to hold coal. So there's plenty to hold in onto. I mean, it's not like we're out of fuel here. It's just there's no fuel to power the rest of the stuff. So I'm going to yeah. go ahead and take half of whatever's in here. Put it in there. And then there's plenty of wood down here. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that stuff. And of course do the... Something like that. Nice. And then that should mean that our coal should be coming over. And probably what happened is uh, when we split this right here to go down to our other area, um, mm -hmm. once we bumped up the production uh, of our iron, it caused us to starve on our coal. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Which we, we had our first logistical problem here. That's the thing that happens in game, which is what makes it fun. Okay, so that's doing that. Um, cool. Awesome. Good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a few more drills, which I need iron plates for. And then uh, we're going to add a few more drills to our uh, coal output. So that way we don't have to worry about starving again for a while. So I'm just going to grab all those out of there. And then I'm going to put the rest in here. If you would not mind to grab the rest of those and uh, make more drills. Sure. Okay, basic movement speed has increased, so you should see that you're running a little bit faster now. Sure. A little bit. A little bit. Not much, just, just a little bit. do that and then um oh, I need to make some power poles too it looks like or steal yours <laughs> <laughs> I love that I could do that I feel powerful okay we actually don't need these here anymore just a good way to get started but now we have a whole bunch more coal we've, we've practically well, we only had two here so mm. one, two three four we did like a 4.5 times. No, that's not right. Never mind. I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> anyway, now we have a lot of coal coming in. It's like, give me Excel. Give me, a you know, paper and pencil and I can sit there and do math all day. But when you ask me to do math in my head, it's just, I, I just go, I just go full dirt mode. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it uh, looks like we've got all this situated. We should be able to start working on getting green science going. Yes. So now we got green science things we can start doing. Okay. And if you haven't noticed, I'm very ooh shiny in this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what do I want to do next? What do I want to do next? 
Okay. So um, now that you've made some drills and I've made some drills, maybe we can go down and start working on filling this area in down here. But you've already done that. Looks to you already being on top of things. Yeah, look at that. Johnny on the spot, man. Yeah. And got eight more. Okay. Is there any more that's needed? I think this one's fully set up, which means we could, uh, this is ready to get turned into a depot whenever we start getting trains out and around. Okay. So, uh, since that's the case, we can actually start working on building a smelter depot and then, uh, no, no, no. We need to, we need to get our coal situated as well in the same manner. So let's go ahead and do an outpost planner thing on that. I know we were just working on coal, but I didn't realize we were that far yet. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up all these guys. And then I'm just going to go ahead and once that gets picked up, I'm going to set up an outpost for coal headed mm -hmm. to the north. And then the idea there is we'll split off whatever that area produces into our main uh, base as it is now. And then we, we can actually start working on setting up train depots, both on the coal here and down on the iron down to the south, and then set up a smelter depot off somewhere else. And then uh, it'll start making sense, I think, what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> if it is, you know, if it isn't already. All right, so I'm going to do this and then watch out. The great thing about this mod is it knows when uh, it'll accidentally pick up resources from another area. So it avoids mm -hmm. putting stuff down that'll mix stuff, which you don't want to have happen. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, I love the music in this game. Absolutely, Jen. All right, so nanobot stuff, even though it's not working, I'm still researching it because reasons. Um, hmm. So while that's doing that, um, you want to start working on clearing off some of these trees through here? Like, up. I will, I'll go ahead and block these out. And if you want to just kind of let your bots do work up there. Okay. I appreciate it. Come on, bots. Do your thing. Indeed. Okay. Are we out of those posts? I think we are. Okay. So I need to make more. Oh, I don't have more. Oh no. We're gonna have to choose a different uh Oh crap, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, we can just do this research. Okay, okay, everything's fine. Once that research is then I'll be able to craft more of the type of electric poles this requires. I could have changed it and used other types of poles, but I didn't think about doing that ahead of time. Because I'm good at thinking ahead of things. That was sarcasm, just to be clear. <laughs> oh, of course. And let's grab some of these guys and some of these guys. There we go. They go the trick. Now, of course, we're out of fuel again because I've starved our base of power. Mm -hmm. Old. We're getting there though. Gonna be just fine soon enough. Blink. All right, that should be fine there.
Okay, so it looks like all I need to do now is supply some of this wood that I've picked up to our boilers again, and we should have power again, and it should be good because we are going to be supplying a whole lot more coal than was originally coming through. Mm -hmm. Okay, coal's incoming. Sweet. And of course, these will all have to wait until we get those poles unlocked. And that's just going to have to do for now. Alright. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're adding a, uh, a thing of wood to our mm -hmm. coal. Um, actually, putting it up this early is not advisable. And mm -hmm. the reason why... Well, actually, no. It's perfectly fine. Um, normally, you want to keep your stuff separate until you know you, uh, you, you absolutely need it. Um, right. Because both wood and coal uh, are fuel sources, and this line is only being used as a fuel source line for now, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But later on, uh, you actually need coal and recipes and stuff like that, and you don't want to contaminate your your source, you know? Right. So, um, for right now, I mean, if you want to do that, that that's perfectly fine, though, because we're not using it as a source, uh, a recipe source just right, yet. Yeah, I, was just do I was just doing it that way to uh, get rid of some of the excess wood that I have in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad call. We should be set on power now. Which means we can start working on maybe getting a uh, train stop here. This is going to be a really bad place for a train stop, but it will have to do for now. And of course, Haggard places the tracks right where I'm standing. <laughs> it's like he's trying to get me run over again. Uh, there aren't any trains that are going to come this direction just mm yet. -hmm. They, 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 trains won't go any direction unless they they need to go a direction. But there's no reason for them to go this direction just yet. I, I'm just going to leave that alone now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ghost tracks for now. It's not like we're actually doing real tracks yet. Okay, we'll put this, uh, it's going to be coming through here. Let's do right there. And then we can do some inserters. I think we're going to do too long. We'll just do one side for now. And we'll go ahead and do a buffer chest as well. Uh, can we make? We only have enough for one iron chest. What is this? Early game? <laughs> you need anything while I'm down here picking stuff up? Nope. Okay. So I'm good on copper. I just need a lot of those things, a lot of these things, and a lot of those things. Yeah. And then I can make a handful of those. Alright, so we're just waiting on the 20 mining drills to finish, and that's going to take a little bit of time. They take 40 seconds because they take two seconds each to make, mm -hmm. which kind of sucks. So we'll just build this up while we're waiting. If we did two splitters here, boink and boink, we can put one going that way and one going that way. One, two, three, and then we could split that off. Mm 
do something like this and something like that. There we go. And then we've got that electricity distribution thing situated now, so we can move on to more things. Um, just go ahead and get that out of the way because reasons. I don't really need it, but it's fine. Uh, we need steel. Oh, we're not to steel yet. Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> uh, I can fix that. So what we're going to do here is do yet another split. Oh, that ain't going to work. And then uh, we're going to run this in. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let me think about this. Yeah, I'm having issues. Uh, what I can do is just do a filter here. And what we can say is only iron plates can go out the left. That way, if we send coal down through here, it'll work out just nice. All right. I got this. I got this. <laughs> And then what we can do is use the one blueprint that I... No, I still have it. Okay. Herder. Now what I'm doing here is uh, I'm making a, a layer for steel production. Mm. And what that allows us to do is uh okay so so steel is made by processing iron plates okay. and it's it's a significant amount of of effort to i think it's like five plates to one thing of steel so you, you need a lot working on it um so i just ran some uh fuel up through here so that way our smelters can work off of our, our secondary output um yeah so i mean hopefully that's not going to give us any sort of troubles i don't think it would and then down here's a, a fun little thing you can do um so with with splitters you can actually uh, designate what gets filtered in which direction it goes. You can actually do an input priority as well. But uh, what I've done here is say uh, only output iron plates on the left side, so that way my co my coal doesn't go up and into our uh, into the box. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's just things, man. <laughs> just things. All right. So far, so good. Um. And what we're doing? Oh yeah, I needed I needed some steel for some power poles. I'm mean, gonna make six of those. Uh, let's do those. Okay. So you're five to one yes, but it smelts five times as longer. So you still need one plate smelter per steel smelt. Okay, that works. So I mean, it's even anyway. So that works. Cool. Thank you for confirming that. Okay, nanobot stuff is done. Let's go ahead and start upgrading some weapon stuff because that's the next available thing. I'm getting all kinds of achievements. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are tons of achieves in this game, and then some uh, really interesting ones. If you if you if you're really into achievement hunting, there's some really mm -hmm. fun ones. How many do we need still? Uh, what is train is out of fuel? Okay, so we need forty nine more of those. We're not there yet. I well, appreciate you coming in there and helping out. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. So hopefully we'll have a decent little amount of steel here. 72 is not too bad. 36 poles. That'll help us get power. Then we start working on getting that depot situated. This 
oh, it's still processing. Okay, okay, we're just waiting. That's all it is. And then our iron chests are done, so we can go ahead and pull off these here. Very cool. Eight more to craft. There we go. Bonk, bonk, bonk. bonk. There we go. So now that's all coming in. And this is going to be cool pickup one. Sweet. And then I'm just going to go to one of our handy dandy trains. Give them a couple wagons. Put you on manual. Oh, why are you, why are you still? Uh, yeah. Wait. There we go. Okay. So we're going to give you a couple of, of these guys. And then uh, we are going to say, get rid of all this junk. Okay, so we're going to go coal pick up one right now until full. Uh, full, full cargo. There we go. And then um, we need, actually, technically this should be fuel stop right here. Since we're already setting it up for it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, if you would be so kind as to set up a splitter, like right here ish, just to run up to connect that in, gotcha. that'd be super handy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go to coal pickup. Do it to it, buddy. So those will sh should have power now. Okay, we just need to make more of uh, the drills. So 16 more here. Even though we still need like 30. <laughs> okay, splitter. And it should be uh, on the same page as like your transport belts. Yep, and then I the under... Okay, cool. Still need more iron plates. Get those forty eight. There we go. Let's do more weapon stuff. Hey, look at that. I did a thing. Nice. Now you fix the fueling problem. You're working on automatically refueling the trench. Yeah, yeah, that's deep work. Fix that. <laughs> well, so, uh, I ran the conveyor belt. I don't, don't know how how much of a fix that was, but really, it's supposed to be fuel stop one. Huh? That's interesting. Okay. Cool. So, um, yeah, you're over there. So yeah, we have a train loading up with coal now, which can then be transported out anywhere. There's a train track and a depot for it to stop. Uh, and we've set up the logic on those stops to handle incoming coal and stuff like that. The idea would be to set up a, a smeltery bank to handle our incoming iron ore and then have a train set up to pick up the iron plates uh, that are created. So it looks like this area is done. Sweet. Now, did we finish up the uh, the iron quarry down to the south? I think we did. Yeah, I think so. All right, cool. Uh, one thing I'm going to do real quick before I forget, and I should have done this earlier, but I didn't think about it. Uh, I want to get a couple of radars going so it can start expanding the map and showing us what's around us without us actually having to go and uh, explore so much. Okay. Make sure there's no biters right next to us. That could be bad. Eh. We'll keep one as a pet. <laughs> sure, that works. 
Okay, uh, so far so good. Um, what's next? What's next? So we got fuel stop for the trains. We have trained. We have our basic way we want to keep them housed when that time comes. Even though this is just a mess, we were just kind of making silly stuff happen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and work on getting the rest of these train tracks situated. So it can be looped back around into the main loop. So you're uh, on your factory blueprint, the third factory from the left has three inserters in the blueprint. The third factory from the left, you mean, uh, hmm. On this one? Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it still works, right? <laughs> and it's not like this is going to be a super long playthrough. So uh, I do appreciate you picking that up. And that's something I would normally fix. Um, this is just kind of a, a, a one night sort of deal. One shot kind of deal. Se seeing how much we can get done. This little bit of time. Um, so yeah, now we have that. Uh, let's go ahead and work on getting a... depot set up for our iron down here. I think what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and cut this here. And then just have the rails come straight through. And then how are we going to do this? So if that's coming out that way, it's going to want to come down and around. So if we're going to keep it, try to go clockwise, we'll come out from the top one, come down through, and that'll be going from right to left. Okay, that works. I just had to visualize how I wanted to set that up. Just that. And then we can do another thing like we did before. The inserters can go here. Of course, I should have blueprinted that before, but I did not think to do that. Let's make some boxes, chests, whatever. And then we'll split this up awesomely. That. And research stuff, so let's go ahead and do that. Crafting speed, nice, that'll help. And then I think what I want to do is use a balancer down here. There we go. Let's go, we have a five, a five to a th four, I think would work. Well, that didn't quite work the way I thought. What's up? Oh, uh, no, I'm just breaking things that you've built. Oh, no, that's fine. Experimentation is one of the fun things of this game. So if there's anything you broke, that's fine. We can, we can figure out how to fix it. So I offset the balancer because I didn't have quite enough space to make it work in its current configuration. Mm -hmm. So... When you see what's going on down here, it's it's gonna look a little funky, but it'll be alright. So we're just gonna go over to there. So that and that can go to here. And that go to there and then from there we can do like two underground belts mm -hmm. and have that come destruction there we go okay now we're back to normal i'll come check out what you're doing in just a second apparently i need to make a few of these so let's go and do that
There we go. Okay, and then just a couple power poles. Boink, boink, and boink. There we go. And that'll be a nice depot when that time comes. All right, what you up to, bud? I'm just trying to figure the way to get the trains moving. Um, well, they're... they're just, uh, oh, sorry. They're just kind of sitting here. And Torvox kind of issued me a challenge. Oh, okay. Uh, train just stopped. Oh, no, no, he... Yeah. So what's going on here is this guy's waiting. Because um, mm -hmm. there's a fuel stop command. Uh, two seconds of inactivity. And this is fueling up. Um... Because it's not fuel, full, full yeah, on fuel. As soon as I fill it up with fuel, there's no more inactivity. Or now there's inactivity, and the next one will come up. And once it, once this one gets full, then um, same thing, rinse and repeat. So there's no signal issues here. It's just a matter of being filled up. Did, was it full? No. Okay, that was weird. Oh, those were those were scheduled to. Okay, never mind. This one will keep going though, right? Yeah. So this one will keep going until there's it's full on fuel, and that's all it is. It's just the refuel thing. Mm. All right. Um, crafting speed increase has done its thing. Inventory size increase. Working on researching that now. Okay. Um, so Vborg, do you have any rails on you currently? Nope. Okay, so uh, I will issue you a challenge. <laughs> what I want you to do is basically uh, from up here, mm -hmm. have the rail come out. And then if you look on your mini map, um, come down between the water on the left mm -hmm. and the uh, iron on the right. And then make a curve into here. So we'll worry about connecting it up to the rest of it uh, later. But I'm gonna just see if if you can manage manage that. So I'll put you up some rails here. You up for the challenge, bud? I can give it a whirl. Oh, That's what's gonna happen, right? <laughs> Everything explodes. Oh, thank you for bringing me a bunch of wood, guys. Appreciate it. What I always wanted. <laughs> All right. So, when you have rail in hand, mm -hmm. let's see here. Uh, can you can you drop like a couple of those rails in here? Wood chest is in the way. Well There we go, thank you. Okay, so when you have rail in hand, mm -hmm. you'll see that there is um, a green arrow. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, Of course, I want you to work on the top one here, but I'm showing you on the bottom one here. So if you click that green arrow, it'll let you go as far as you want. And if you kind of click and drag around, it'll let you make all kinds of weird shapes. Uh -huh. um, another thing you can do, and my preferred way of doing it, is if you hold shift before you click the green arrow, mm -hmm. it allows you to um, basically make a, a, a ghost print. Uh, you probably can't see what I'm seeing right now. Um, no. Nope. But it I'll allows you to drag more. it out and kind of push it in different directions. Mm -hmm. um, another thing you can do while you're, while you're doing the ghost print thing is uh, if you hold shift and then tap R while you're holding shift, it'll change mm -hmm. the direction of the rail. So like instead of going straight here, if I tap R twice, it'll point it up. See, it made a weird loop there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there you go. So I see you have it curved down here so far. That's a good start. Yeah, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> okay, it's fine. You can actually, uh, if you hover over it without clicking anything, you'll see a, a little yellow box. Uh, if you hold right click on anything you've placed down, you can you can pick it back up. It just takes a second.
There you go. And then to help you kind of measure here, I would say it'd be good to come down about right here. Let's see here. Uh, that has changed. You don't have to start with a shift down. It will switch back and forth by pressing and releasing shift. Oh, okay. 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 That's cool. Um, that's the new thing in 17. Sorry, I'm old school, apparently. Let's try that out then. Oh, that's nice. Oh, they changed that. Okay, cool. So, um, to update what I said, you don't necessarily have to click when hold, while holding shift. Uh, as long as you have rail in your hand and you've already clicked the green arrow, just anytime you hold shift, it'll automatically do the, um, it'll switch over to ghost mode. So that's, uh, that's a nice quality of life improvement they did. Um, and another explanation is while you're working on building in ghost mode, it'll automatically work on, uh, it'll mark trees for deconstruction and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you got something in your way and you want to kind of plow through it without actually having to pick it up, you can just ghost them down and it'll automatically, uh, set them to deconstruct those trees like right here. I appreciate that, uh, update Torvok. I'm sure there's a lot of new things that... I'm not aware of in 17 just yet. Well, that's ugly. What's up? That's uh, fine. No, I'm just. Oh, was it looping around weird for you? Yeah, it's just. Just a little, just one. It was just like one too long. <laughs> now, the cool thing is if something's ghosted down, you can still right click to pick it up and you can start back from wherever you where we ended. Make that too, too long. Get some of these rocks out of your way for you. There you go. Good job, buddy. So I'm just going to do some simple. Uh, oh, we don't have anything train unlocked yet, so I can't really do that yet. Never mind. Oh, man. <laughs> We're going to run out of uh, <laughs> run out of rails in at this this rate. Uh, what is next? Are trains available soon? Um, Train. That comes, oh, we have a few things to unlock before we can get there. Okay, that's fine. You out of rails? No, I'm not. All the bots are just being weird. All my bots are elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, here's trees and stuff. I'm going to stay up here for a while. All right. Well, I think uh, you, you, you did pretty good, man. Uh, Train tracks are kind of a pain in the butt to master in this game, but once you get it, man, it's a, it's a fun thing to do. Um, but if you tap M, I guess maybe I should have told you about that before. Uh, have you discovered that on your own yet? The map? <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, if you look at it, you can see how there's structure beginning. Um, the, the, the south iron ore patch Corey would eventually loop it back up to where basically coal pickup one is, but on that top rail to come back into the loop. Right. And then, um, and then, uh, somewhere else we could, you know, place down a, a smelter bank and then add in another quarry to that or, or not a quarry, but another stop to that. And then, uh, it would become a nice loop that, uh, we'd have a supply of coal. We'd have a supply of ore and then, um, that would then smelt into plates and, uh, that would then just be fed into the system and you don't have to worry about w what's going where once you get it set up right, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but, uh, that's actually going to do it for this episode. You okay with that V-Borg? Yeah, I'm good. I got about, uh, you know, 20, so 20, 20. Oh, minutes. So you gotta go. Yep. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, but uh, we actually didn't get any sort of bonus episode, so I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap up the stream in this episode here. Is, is that cool with you, man? That's fine with me. All right. Um, well, I mean, I can I can go ahead and leave um, leave this map up if you want to continue your stream, uh, but I'm actually going to go ahead and step away here in a few. 
but I um, appreciate you hanging out, man. Did, did you at least enjoy it tonight? I know that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot to take in. Definitely yeah. going to have to uh, tinker, tinker on my own and learn the finer points of train management. Indeed. We'll that. Well, let's just say that this this uh, this game can get so crazy. There's somebody who made a I forget exactly how many color uh, how many pixel monitor that could play mm-hmm. back uh, Darude Sandstorm music video like in game. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll wow. have to send you a link to that because that that one blew my mind and I I don't know how they did it, but it was it was amazing. <laughs> it's like those people in Minecraft that build the uh, the redstone computers. The that a- actually a- calculate and stuff. It's like. You guys have too much time. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you, you can't help but just like sit there and stare in awe of that they could come up with yeah. how that works. So, I so wouldn't I, even know where how to even begin to do any of like that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Anyway, man, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here. Um, so I do appreciate you hanging out tonight, and uh, guys on stream, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, guys, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like. I'd appreciate it. Uh, guys, do me a favor, share the video, share the live streams, all that good stuff. Because the more you guys do that, the bigger we grow, and it'd be super cool of you. Uh, But guys, be awesome, be excellent to each other, and I'll catch another video. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.